In this video, I'm reviewing the hearing aid that has artificial intelligence right in its name, the Starkey Livio AI. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I release a new video. The new Livio hearing aids replaces Starkey's old Halo generation of devices that were made for the iPhone. And I've been bombarded with emails and requests to do a review of the Starkey Livio AI. So after a few months of me being able to play with these devices, I'm finally ready to share my thoughts. Now it's important to understand that there are Livio hearing aids and then there's the Livio AI hearing aid. The Livio line of devices come in three performance levels, the Livio 2400, the Livio 2000, and the Livio 1600. The Livio AIs only come in the 2400 premium performance level. I'm actually wearing a set of Livio AIs right now to give you an idea of what they look like when you're wearing them. The form factor of these are very similar to other form factors that Starkey already has. In this hand, I'm actually, let's see if I can get this to focus here real quick. There we go. In this hand, I'm actually holding the Starkey Muse IQRs, and in this hand is the Livio AIs. You can see that they're very similar with each other. In terms of the size of them, they're very similar in size, which is a little surprising because the Livio AIs actually use a size 312 battery, and the Muse IQR are, of course, the rechargeable lithium batteries, which tend to be bigger than the size 312 batteries, but in the case of the Livio AI, with all the other additional stuff they have, have inside of them, they are a little bit bigger. All right, so let's first talk about the biggest changes that they've done with the Livio and the Livio AI hearing aids. And number one is that they are now compatible with wireless accessories. This is a massive improvement from the Halo line of devices, which did not give you access to any wireless accessories. With Starkey hearing aids, you used to have to make the decision of whether or not you wanted direct to iPhone connection with the Halo devices, or whether or not you wanted access to these other wireless accessories and use the Muse devices. Well, now you don't have to make that choice anymore because these devices now have 2.4G and near field magnetic induction. What this allows them to do is gain access directly to a smartphone, but it also gives them access to these wireless accessories like a remote microphone or a TV streamer to help improve your hearing and background noise and to get that audio right from your TV right into your hearing aids. Number two is better noise management. Now that the Livio line of devices has near field magnetic induction, it allows these hearing aids to communicate back and forth with each other, which helps them perform better in a background noise situation. In fact, Starkey claims that it improves your ability to hear in a dynamic noise environment by up to 50%. Now, will this give you a real world perception of improvement in a background noise situation? It kind of depends on you as an individual, but the report so far from people that I've heard from is that it does make an improvement in background noise situation. Just remember, the best way to improve your speech understanding in a background noise situation is to have real ear measurement performed on your hearing devices and to use a remote microphone. Number three is better app customization. Starkey now has a four band equalizer that allows you to adjust the low, mid, high, and ultra high frequencies so you can customize your sound in real world environments. The app also gives you control of the direction in which your hearing aid microphones pick up sound. While the Livios will likely do this job for you, sometimes it helps to control this yourself. All right, remember how I was telling you that there are Livio devices and Livio AI devices? Well, now I'm gonna share with you the additional improvements that the Livio AI devices have that the Livio devices do not have. And the main difference is, is that the Livio AI devices now have inertial measurement units, which are basically onboard sensors to detect movement. These onboard sensors basically make the Livio AI devices a combination between a hearing aid and an activity tracker. And you can see how they use these sensors inside of the Starkey Thrive app that you can get in the App Store. Just remember, these devices can be used for an Apple phone or an Android device, but it will only stream audio directly from an Apple device. When you go into the Thrive app and access your Thrive score, you can see that you have a body score and a brain score. Inside of the body scoring, you can score up to 100 points. You can get 40 points for steps. The default is 10,000 steps for all the points. You get 40 points for physical activity and the default is 30 minutes. And you can get 20 points by just moving around. The default is one minute of movement every hour for 12 hours. 
Now you can change these defaults. So if you want to have 15,000 steps to get all of your 40 points, or you want to have an hour of physical activity a day to get all of the 40 points, you can manipulate those however you want to inside of the app. When you go to the brain scoring, again, you can get a total of 100 points on this, and 40 of those points come from the U score, which means that you are actually wearing your hearing aids for up to 12 hours per day. Then you have the engagement score, which gives you up to 40 points if you interact with other people. You also can gain some of these points from streaming audio directly from your devices. Then you have the active listening score. This is what you get by going into different listening environments which are identified by the new acoustic classifier. I asked about specifics about this score and the engagement score, but Starkey isn't ready to spill the beans on how they actually do these calculations yet. The main purpose of these tracking features is to actually make you more socially active and more physically active. So if you get a certain score on one day, you might be compelled to try to beat that score on the next day. And the only way to beat that score is to become more active and more socially engaged. And so the concept behind these tracking features inside of the Livio AI devices is to really get you to reduce the risk factors that are associated with being sedentary and with not having social interaction. Interaction. So if you can actually improve your health outcomes with cardiovascular disease and stroke and uh, potential risk of cognitive decline, if you can remove the risk factors associated with those things, it can ultimately make you a happier and healthier individual. It's important to note that these devices do not act as a fitness tracker, so you cannot take them on a run and get an accurate reading on the distance that you've gone on that run. But with the onboard sensors that they currently have, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future they actually develop that inside of the app as well. The second difference of the Livio AI devices is that they now have a Hearing Care Anywhere feature inside of the app. So just like many other hearing aid manufacturers right now, you can get your devices remotely adjusted by your hearing care professional. All you have to do is basically submit a request and let them know what's going on with the devices and the hearing care professional will be able to read the information off of the devices, make the appropriate changes to the programming and send it back through to you so you can upload them into your hearing aids. The third difference is the language translation, and I happen to think that this is the coolest feature inside of these hearing devices. You can choose between 27 different languages, and the hearing aids will translate between these languages. For instance, I obviously speak English, but if I travel to France, the hearing aids will pick up French and translate it into English right into my Livio hearing aid so I can hear in English what the person who's speaking French to me is saying. Now when I speak English to the other person, it will translate that into French on my phone so they can read it. You can now go to a number of foreign countries and not have language be a barrier to communication as long as you have a cell signal or a Wi-Fi connection. And fourth is fall detection. Research shows that individuals with a hearing loss are at a higher risk of falling compared to individuals who do not have a hearing loss. And now that we have these onboard motion sensors, why the heck wouldn't we want to measure that? Now this feature isn't available yet, and I don't really know where Starkey's going with this, but I'm really excited to see it in action. Now the Livio devices are good, and the Livio AI devices are really impressive. But as with any hearing aid, even though the Livio AI devices are super impressive, I do have a few concerns. And number one is the streaming quality. I really wasn't impressed with the streaming quality from my iPhone 7, and I'm not sure if it's the hearing devices or whether or not it's my iPhone, and I went into the software to try to adjust the stream boost settings as much as I could, but no matter what I did, it's almost like there was this hesitation of sound that was coming from that stream, and so ultimately I had to give that a thumbs down. Number two is I was really hoping these devices were gonna be rechargeable. Starkey has the Muse IQR devices that use a lithium battery technology. I was hoping they would take that and actually put it inside of the Livio devices and they haven't done it. Now I understand that there is this trade-off that happens with the amount of battery drain that happens while you're streaming a lot from a wireless accessory or from a smartphone, but at the end of the day, the trend in the industry is to go more rechargeable and Starkey hasn't done it. And number three is price. Now price is a sensitive subject, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. The Livio AI hearing aids are the single most expensive hearing aid that it costs to get into my clinic. And I'm pretty sure that that is the same for any clinic in the entire country. That being said, when a clinic has to pay more for a particular type of hearing aid, they have to pass that increased cost onto the patient. So there is a high probability that the Starkey Livio AIs specifically will be the most expensive hearing aid that you can buy. 
Despite these few concerns that I have, I really like where Starkey's going with this Livio technology. They're starting to bridge this gap between hearing care and health care. And now that we can track all of these different things at ear level, I really believe that the rest of the industry will follow suit. Just remember, no matter how good your hearing aids are, no matter how much money you spent on those hearing aids, they will not perform up to their full capacity unless you've had real ear measurement performed on them. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will link in the card up here and in the description below. Overall, I really like the Starkey Livio AI hearing aids, and I think it's going to lead to more innovation inside of the hearing industry. So if you're the type of individual who likes to track everything, and you like to be on the forefront of whatever technological advancements there are, then you may want to ask about the Starkey Livio AI hearing aid the next time you go in to your hearing care provider. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.